Hello crew and welcome to our garage, the cruise garage. If you want a big SUV, today we have one of the biggest SUVs in the market. It's the GLS 350 diesel. Let's start with the engine. It's a V6 turbo diesel engine, three liters. Uh, the engine is producing 254 horsepower or 190 kilowatt, 457 foot-pounds of torque or 620 newton meter. The weight of the car, it's 2,565 kilograms. Heavy car, 2.5 tons. Power to weight ratio, 0.01 horsepower to every kilogram. Uh, it's not a, a good number, I would say, but it's a family car, a huge family car. Acceleration, the car, the car accelerates from 0 to 100 in 7.8 seconds. Uh, not bad for a heavy big car. If you want a faster vehicle, you can get the gas version with uh, 350 horsepower, a little bit more or less. Or you can get the AMG 63, which is uh, a powerful car. Of course, you have some cons. The size of the vehicle in a small city in Europe, you'll have a hard time uh, passing in a narrow roads or doing a u-turn or trying to park but on the other hand the car has so much neat features uh, heated seats front seats and the middle row you can fold down the seats by a press of the button 12v sockets in the front and the back two usb outlets in the center glove box harman kardon sound system panoramic roof so I'm sitting in the in the middle row with the armrest down I have tons of head space can't imagine man it's, it's huge leg leg room again it's huge it's a spacious car you can install big bottles in the front doors you have so many uh, places to store stuff uh, the car feels a bit outdated comparing it to other Mercedes Benz uh, for 2018 or 2017 or 19. I think it needs an update, but it's not missing anything. The tailgate is uh, fully, fully electric. With the press of a button, opens. Not a big boot with the, all the seats uh, up. But the nice thing, it's uh, fully electric. And the better thing, that you can fold any of the rows down with a press of, the, uh, with a, press of a button. So for example, let's, let's say that we need a bigger boot. We can fold the third row with a the, with the button over here. Just tiny push, and you have a bigger boot. Same thing goes for the middle row. You wanna put the seat up again. Another push, and it's back up. So a baby stroller with just a couple, you know, soft bags. Oh, another nice feature. If you want to tow something, a push of a button would get the tow hook outside. That's a neat feature. Another push when it's ready on, when it's fully on will take it back in to hide it. Let's go. Yep. Trunk. Another uh, button to close it. Soft closed doors everywhere. Middle row, another button. Of course, uh, a car seat, a baby car seat, you can install it in the middle row or the back seats. Another uh, button over here, 
fall to fall down everything gives you a huge space in my opinion i think it's a great engine it has a good sound a bit deep uh, roaring sound it's, you know it, for a v6 two and a half tons turbo that's using 7.6 liters per 100 kilometer consumption combined between city and highway i think it's a a perfect number a very good number in my opinion uh, harman carbon speakers so many different safety systems and you know driving assist uh, systems the cup holders you can turn on uh, a cool or a heat in the cup in the cup holder to keep your drink either warmer or warm and cold a neat feature that i liked all the series you can uh, roll down the, the windows front windows and the middle windows this car mercedes even thought about the third row you know how the vans or the minivans they have the small tilting i don't know like the windows would open just a tiny bit would circulate there i think it's a good thing to have but the issue the third row can't open the windows by themselves they have to ask the driver it's down below uh, not in the best place but i don't think you're gonna use it that much so it's okay the plastics are used in the vehicle in some areas like in the like in the bottom of the door or the back seats uh, they have uh, some plastics i don't think it's supposed to be on the s class of suvs and mercedes benz i thought i think they should have something better it's a new screen everything is new new gearbox 9g uh, 9 speed uh, gearbox I'm not saying it looks bad, but when you go to other Mercedes Benz with, you know, with the big new wide screens, you feel that this one is outdated. But it's not missing anything. Uh, auto start stop. It has also a button to push air towards the windows or the front windshield uh, to help with the fog. Engine data. I love this screen. Again, it's a family car, you won't use it a lot, but it's neat to have it. How many kilowatts you're using and how many newton meter. I would prefer to see horsepower on foot pounds, but that's what we have. Tire sizes, 295. The height of the tire is 40. The wheel size or the rim size is 21 inches. This is a huge car, seven seaters. Individual configuration. So there is one, two, three, four, five different um, modes for driving, I would say. So there is this one called off road, and then slippery, and then comfort, sport, and then individual. The individual you can adapt and change uh, the stuff that you like. Engine, you can play with three settings of the engine. You can keep it as an eco to save gas or diesel, and or comfort or sport. Of course, sport for the fastest uh, response. Suspension, you have two settings, either comfort or sport. I think inside city, comfort would be the best to get all the potholes easily, nicely, without uh, bugging the passengers. On the highway or in sharp corners, sport would be a better option. But I'm not saying it's going to be a sport car. Still a family, huge family SUV. But I think it uh, makes a difference. Steering, you have also two settings, comfort or sport. Comfort, again, inside the city. I think it's easy to uh, play around with. You don't get the response right away. On the highway, you want to go to sport. Uh, just in case of any thing that would appear in front of you. Trunk capacity, the boot capacity. When you have the seven seats up, 
I don't think it's uh, the best place to store your stuff, but it's not bad. 295 uh, liters, which is uh, similar to a small family car, baby stroller, as I have in the back, few uh, bags, soft bags, that's it. If you fall down the last row, so you would have five seats up only, you'd get 680 liters. I think it's a good space. But when you close the middle row, which is you will have only two passengers, it goes to 2,300 liters. In my opinion, if I need a big, such a big SUV for a family, if I have a huge family, I would buy it. It drives really well. Uh, again, in sharp corners, it's still a big car, so. Uh, but overall, I think it's a very good car. It needs some updates. The plastic, I wish if it was better, but you can't uh, have everything, I guess. Fuel consumption, I think it's neat, but it's expensive. Around 140,000 US dollar in Europe or in Switzerland, plus taxes. And that's the end of our episode. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.